Hello gamers, uh, you guys really seem to have enjoyed the monochrome run I did with the ink brush. And even though I thought it was going to be a one-off, since people like it, I'll do another one. Why not? I made a YouTube poll, you guys voted, and the weapon of choice for this monochrome run is the roller. One of the reasons I even had the roller on the poll is because the roller has the most common tone of power. Now I technically have completed all of the color chips including all of the power color chips. However, for those who are completionists, you might enjoy this little tidbit. If you go on the Splatnet app and you look through the chip collection, you will see that this goes beyond just five chips and you can actually max it out by getting the fully full version of it, which goes way beyond five. But to get these dialogue options and have the chip as complete, you only need to have collected five. So even though the game says you have it all, if you go to Splatnet, Splatnet's like, actually, you don't have it all. <laughs> uh, so I will be attempting to have it all today we're gonna try to get that splash damage and ink damage to max we'll see but some of these are not available with, like the horizontal slash speed splatling barrage not that there's like two power chips already out out of the nine so i think we're only gonna have like seven chips to deal with which is not too bad not too bad at all all right um the only thing i don't have active is the continue and all the pro drone ones that's because i don't really intend to use the pro i mean this this makes like no difference at all but you know what that's okay all right well that's the we'll basic we have all hacks active except for the pro drone and uh let us begin this roller run roller run roller run roller run look at how happy this octoling looks all right we are doing a power run and um oh why is it gotta give us the sound wave damage right away i think i'm gonna go for this one interestingly enough the roller actually does not have anything that gets benefited from the sound wave damage uh this means we will hit up a vending machine and we might pick up the wave breaker or the killer whale because unfortunately the pro drone would not be getting any specials and i know it says hard but like we can do hard that's not, that's not a problem for us and our 1 million active hacks all right floor one and since this is the power one, I'd like to get like a base of how much damage we do. All right, so it's 2,000 to roll things over. 2,000 from this. Long range slap, 1894. Uh, close range slap, 1850. Okay, but I'm very curious how crazy the damage multiplier is going to get like by the end of this run. And of course, we're going to get started with uh, this is supposed to be hard, by the way. Let me spawn camp video game. Like there, there is only one spawner for this, right? This is hard. This is not hard. I mean, like as long as I get the flying guy, well, if this is an indication of how the rest of this one's gonna go, and I'm all for it. Okay, oh, oh, talk about unlucky for this one because it's all the lucky drops and we cannot use any of them. We want power. All right, more sound wave damage. It, it, we, we really are gonna have some powerful sound waves at some point, but we don't have any sound waves right now. And that's gonna be really dependent on the vending machines. It's really gonna suck if the game doesn't give us any specials at all. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I actually don't like using Kraken like at all. And like, I don't know, I just not a, not the biggest Kraken fan, especially in side order. Like it does damage. I, I guess I just proved myself wrong, but like, I don't know. I struggle to use the Kraken most effectively. Like out of all the specials in this, I think I struggle the most with Kraken. So if you guys have any Kraken tips, do drop them down below. Okay, finally, we get something that's, um, I don't know if main damage distance even benefits the roller. Uh, so we're gonna go for poison ink on this one no explosion or ink damage so far but that's okay that's okay we'll just get our max sound waves for our totally useful totally so many sound wave devices that we currently possess including but not limited to yep that's all of them where'd the ball go hold up <laughs> okay so if you kill one of those guys with the ball the ball will just jump oh oh that's not good and I, I, I just instinctively aim at the bouncy pads. Uh-oh. Well, I'm glad the ball can't fall off the stage because, oh my, it would have fallen off the stage so many times by this point. Thank you. Now, this was a hard stage. I think this was listed as normal, but th this was definitely one of the harder ones. All right, floor number four. Nothing powerful. Uh, I still want to pick main piercing, but I know that's range. I don't like how some of these look very similar to the colors of another palette. Main damage close, we'll go for that because that's the roller, right? Roller is main damage close, right? I think it actually counts as rush attack damage. So we'll, we'll see if this actually like buffs the slaps or if it just buffs the roll. Let's see. 
Okay, this definitely buffed the, the slap. Did it buff the roll? Rolled it 2000. Okay, so main damage close makes this attack strong, but it does not make the roll over attack strong. That's good to know. The, if you, so if you want to roll over people, you want to go for the blue chips. It's the it's the one that the ink brush used a lot. So if you want to build a carbon roller, you want to go for the blue chips. You want to do a blue chip run. Uh, if you want to go for this is pretty much gonna end up being like a dynamo. We're gonna we're just gonna slap really hard. We're gonna slap harder than the soundtrack of Side Order. The final boss music really good. The ending music really good. The stage music I don't care about. <laughs> I don't. I should. But I don't. Okay, we have ink damage here. So see how this one, you get a, like a big circle at five, but then there's another one at nine. So if you get it to five, it'll fill it out for completion's sake for you to get the badge. But unless you get all 10, it doesn't count as being fully completed in the Splatnet app. So I'm actually gonna go for this instead of the vending machine, especially since we don't have a lot of membucks right now. Cause I wanna have at least 4,000 membucks when going into a vending machine. That way I can buy a bunch. Uh, right now I could probably only buy like one thing and a new special which actually hindsight seemed like a good idea ink damage did not buff or a roll is not getting buffed okay but the slap the slap gets buffed so despite us being a roller we're not gonna be rolling around a lot we're just gonna be like slapping things okay main damage close 2x let's go and it's a bonus stage which again i'm, I'm just gonna see how much more damage we do all right don't use your sub that's okay i don't use the burst bomb anyways okay we got like at least a hundred more damage per slap which i'll you know i'll take it Oh, we don't have the range though. We I, I usually like to perch up there and and then just like kill the things. But it looks like I have to get all up close and personal. All right, me not cracking myself off the map. See, like, look at how slow this is. And then when it's up there, I don't even think it, the Kraken can reach that high. I don't know, guys. I'm not sold on Kraken in side order. I'm not. I'm not Kraken gang. I mean, it might boost like with rush attack. So again, rush attack might help Kraken a lot because I'm pretty sure Kraken counts for rush attack. But in our case, no Kraken. I'm sorry for all this anti Kraken. Kraken propaganda. I, I don't actually hate the Kraken, by the way. I think Kraken's pretty alright. Alright, uh, so the one downside to this run is that we are actually gonna have to get pretty close to whatever the heck we wanna kill. I mean, I guess I can just roll over these guys. It's, it's not hard. But I can just slap them instead, which is more efficient until we run out of ink and then it's no longer efficient. Okay, more sound wave damage. And situations like this make you think that it is more likely to get a repeat of a chip. But I did the math, I did the science, and uh, I'm just being extremely lucky right now. That's what's happening. It's, it's not that you get more likely chance of a repeat, it is that I'm just lucky. That, that's all okay, more more main damage close and it's an irregular so we're gonna have plenty of membucks once we defeat the boss and I'm all for that because uh, oh boy this is my least favorite stage I despise this one it, it's just so back and forth constantly which is that you know this is fine if you have like a long-range weapon like the charger this is easy stage but otherwise it's so long and convoluted and like you gotta jump back and forth like crazy anyways I was gonna ask you guys what's what's been your favorite uh, weapon to run your favorite monochrome if you've done one so far uh, I know for now I'm kind of advertising that you can do monochrome runs with uh, just like the main stat but uh, realistically you can do a monochrome with any stat uh, as long as you don't run the bias uh, it'll be a bit harder to get a monochrome with any specific color that's not the main one because the main one is the one that gets buffed to like 30% appearance. So as long as you get lucky enough, you can still pull off a monochrome, but you can totally do like a roller run with blue chips so that it would basically be like a indestructible carbon roller. And it would also make the Kraken indestructible. So it could be fun to do, and uh, I totally suggest you try it. I'm not gonna try it. I already know, some of you have already typed this in the comments. You guys are like, you should try it now that you've said it. You should do I have a lot of things I should do, okay? A lot of things. <laughs> and I assume you do too, but listen, there's one of me and several thousands of you. Uh, someone else do it, please. <laughs> Tell me how it went. Make a video on it. If you've been depend if you've been like, oh, maybe I should make a YouTube channel, make do it. This is your sign. Record this, post your video, I will watch it. Post it in my Discord server. We have a promotion side I, I will watch it i will enjoy it this is your sign now this is another one of those bosses that uh, you can easily defeat with a long range weapon and that's because to defeat this boss you just need to take out the three circles that have lights on them um the other ones are optional but like i'm roller boy i can't reach that high but if you are uh let, let's say a sniper oh we, we just like one shot when we swing at it all right we're gonna take out this light guy i don't can i even reach the top floor nope <laughs> We can, I can't. I, I mean, I, I can kind of reach the top floor, but not really. But he can only hit us with the pulses when we're down here, not the stingrays. All right. And then we take out the lights guy, and the whole thing's dead. See? 
All right, we have splash damage, but like it's it's easy. And like I said in the main guide, don't do the easy ones. <laughs> it's it's so not worth it. There's like no membuck rewards. Like if you have the option between an easy one and a not easy one of the same chip, just don't do the easy one. All right, vending machine. There's several things we could benefit from. None of these are the things we could benefit from though. All right, so we're gonna have to reset. Uh, once again, nothing we can benefit from. But I do have the, the bias hack active and notice how we have not gotten anything bias based and the odds of me getting it are one and three right this is we, we've already not gotten anything that's in our color <laughs> ink damage finally finally something good all right so if you've reached the five point the game will tell you you've completed this chip set realistically we have like four more chips to get so we're gonna reset one last time because we're about to run out of man box oh rush attack we're leaving. This was like the worst vending machine pool I've had in such a long time. No special, just three of a thing. Um, again, you have easy option and you have anything that's not easy option. Look at the, the membug difference. 50 versus 218. It's four times more. Like, I don't care if sound wave damage. I, I mean, unless you're trying to complete sound wave damage, then sure, go for it. But like, in general, don't bother. It, the easy ones are such a waste of membug. And you want the membugs for the vent. Oh my gosh, we do 6,000. Okay, wait, that's not 6,000. Is, is it? I mean, we're doing more damage. That's for sure. Get him. Get, we don't, I don't have extended range. I just have more damage. I just... I hit them harder, <laughs> but this doesn't, it doesn't help with hitting them. I like how they have the little like glitches on top of them so you can tell where they are. Otherwise, these, these guys are very hard to find. Wait, I missed one? Brian, if you're watching this, I hope you're happy. I have used the burst bomb for the one time in my life and uh, I will never use burst bomb ever again. It's a vending machine with a thousand, not worth. Sound wave damage, normal danger. Oh, I, I'm gonna reroll this because I don't want to go on a normal. Am I about to lose the chain? Okay. <laughs> normal splash damage it is. Uh, I'm about to eat my words. Maybe you should just go for the normal. You know, maybe maybe normal isn't that bad. If you can choose between normal and not normal, choose the not normal ones. Or the not easy ones, my bad. Choose the not easy ones. But if, if easy is the only one that fits your color chip, then go with the easy. Because at least you have a guaranteed chip. And a guaranteed chip is uh, a lot more points. Uh, I, I do kind of wish I had the, the increased mobility though. Or increased range. Alright, more resets because... 30% chance means nothing. Means nothing apparently. Uh-oh. Okay. Um again, easy. 200 extra membucks for the normal one. I will go normal. Part of me is tempted to, to hit up that vending machine, but maybe if we get like a guaranteed chip, we won't go to it. But if uh there is no guaranteed chip, we'll vending machine it. Yo oh. Yo, oh, I'm doing rolling instead of slapping. This is not good. I think slapping uses up so much more ink. I think that's why I'm not slapping as much. Ink damage. I'm taking this. 800 membucks, and we get to go above and beyond on the ink damage? Absolutely. Um, now, I also wonder if like the damage you do makes these go further, you know? Because sometimes you hit it a little bit. I don't think... I don't... I don't know if it does anything. Oh, but I do I do like the amount of power we have. I'm as a roller, I'm so tempted to just keep rolling <laughs> after the slap. But I have to unlearn. I have to unlearn my bad toxic habits of trying to rick roll people. Especially when I'm playing in ranked. Unfortunately, too many people have learned how to use the B button and simply jump over my roller. And I do not appreciate it. Okay, it it, it gives you the boost. Yeah, just three hits with the roller pushes it all the way through. Usually I have to like hit that a bunch of times to make it climb. That's good to know. So extra damage does make you push through the checkpoints faster. All right, let's see. We have... Mm, I don't like you. I don't like you, Easy Floor. Flash damage, sound wave damage. This is a danger one. I think I'm just going to go for hard. With these, just go for the hardest available, even though you might want to... You might be tempted to, but like hardest available because if it shows up in vending machine, you've bought all of them. I don't understand the naming for some of these stages. I'll be, I'll be honest with you gamers, I don't understand. There's like a shark swimming around? What does this have to do with outstretched neck? And like, at all. Okay, it's just three hits though. I like that. It's It used to be way more hits at the start of the run. Okay, we're gonna ink damage and it's okay that it's danger. I am actually totally okay with that. So that's the danger, huh? It's just, it's colored under ink. Oh, and it's the double zones. The double zones and we don't have much range. Okay, and now we just slap. Um, and keep, just keep slapping. Uh-oh, I don't... <laughs> no. No. 
I <laughs> choked, literally choked on this one. This has the range of a carbon, it feels like. Oh, and it doesn't help that that guy. You see that guy? He's he throwing heckin' toxic mist at me. Um, what we are gonna do, though, is we're gonna <laughs> run out of ink right before we hit the zip line, and then have to panic Kraken. Um, this is only difficult <laughs> because I suck at the game. Oh, I really should have. I really should have picked up that one CD, because then we would have had all the CDs active, and then and then we could have actually like beaten this real quick. Like, oh, I like how when it's their color, they, they just straight up get the zone from you. Like, there's just no mercy. Like you, it, the sprinklers. I hate those guys. Now um, give me one more CD so we can just make them all disappear. No, this is not what I asked for. But that's okay. That's okay. No. Oh. He was this close to stealing zone. This close to stealing. And poison ink. Rigorous. We're gonna, we're gonna have a lot of coins again. Can I just vertical? I can just vertical. Oh, okay. What? Two CDs? That's probably my favorite. Uh, pro well, I don't remember hitting the top one. I think it just exploded from one of our buffs. I am gonna go to vending machine though, um, because we could really benefit from a killer whale right about now video game. That would be really awesome, especially considering the boss that we're about to face. A killer whale would be really cool. Okay, that's not a killer whale. I will buy it because it's another one of those that has 10 in the app, but like only five in the main game. Oh man, video game. How cool would it be to give me a killer whale? Oh man, video game. How cool. Would it be? All right, we'll, we'll, we'll buy out the ink damage. And we are out of coins, but like ink damage is maxed out. Have we only seen five of these? <laughs> There's gotta be more power chips for the roller, right? Um, We're just gonna have to rely on our ink damage to take down this guy because uh, the game just refuses to give me a killer whale. It is a bit unfortunate, but the odds of getting a special are only 15%. And then the odds of getting the specific special is even lower than that. So, all right, all right, all right, all right test. We gotta test it. 6,000 vertical flip. 7,000, okay. And and then of course, the, the piece de resistance, the thing you want to do with the roller. 2,000 stages, <laughs> zero. Zero improvement in the rolling capabilities. But man, does our ink hit hard. All right, you guys told me that this drops different bombs depending on when you encounter it and you're so right. When it's the second boss, I can't even reach him. I can't, I can't even reach him. Uh, and then if I bounce him into these things, he'll like open up or something like that. I, I, my aim is so bad that I cannot hit a giant ball, but my power is so, okay, I see. So he opens up when you hit the thing. It spawns in guys, but it also opens him up. So like, it's not just the two heads, but it's like anything in the middle. But I, I think, yeah, oh, <laughs> I like having power. I like having power. It, it, it makes me one punch man, but in Splatoon. Main firing speed. I think this, this counts. Does it count? Main firing speed. Okay. Let's you fire more quickly. So I'm assuming this will let us swing the roller faster. I'm surprised they didn't just do this, which is they didn't just call it horizontal swing speed. It's tempting. I think I'm gonna go for the hard one. I think I'd rather have more money to spend in the vending machine than show up and roll twice and get disappointed. Okay. One, two, three. Wait, can I actually, can I just, I once loved the beluga. Okay, this is the best. This is the, I take it back about the brush. This is instantly the best because man, those belugas like to torment me. And if I can just one shot them, I have no, I, how can I complain? I see how I can complain. It's gonna give me the one I want, but it's gonna give it to me on an easy stage. Or I could try my luck and I think I will. <laughs> For the cost of 50 man bucks, I now gain 700 more instead of whatever the heck stupid award I was gonna get from doing the easy one. Uh, fun fact, this is the first stage I failed on when I played uh, Side Order. And that's because it gave it to me as like a danger floor. And uh, I've never played this floor before, so it was just dark. And um, I don't know what was going on. <laughs> You have a lot of these areas where there's just no ink. Like you just can't turf anything down there. So half the time I'm like, man, where's my ink? Just constantly, oh, okay. So here's what happened. We have the buff attack rate, which means I can like slap faster, right? But the problem with that is I run out of ink faster. <laughs> It would be nice if, if these guys would stop spawning. That's why I like the little CD booster thing so much. 
it's the best because it just get, gets rid of them. I really think the difficulty of these depends on the mode though, but like zones is definitely the longest one. And like if you're trying to speed run these, if there's a zones, just don't do the zones because it, it just takes too long. And it's a lot of back and forth and like one mistake sets you back like by minutes. And then these belugas, they bring in guys that will kill you and the kraken can't seem to reach them. Kraken go. Uh oh, Kraken no, 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 no. We can't, I can't even, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm like, th is this a rigorous, was this rigorous? Cause this feels very rigorous to me right now. I haven't even cleared the first checkpoint. What is this amateur hour? And what happens is these guys get me and then by the time I'm clearing them out, I'm out of ink and then there's like three of them. <laughs> this is so stupid. <gasps> Bro, no. <laughs> literally dying i am literally dying over here and it's like this guy's just gonna mosey his way over and then he has like 20 more friends look at this man i should have bought a different special i should have brought a diff i'm going insane i'm going insane gamers <laughs> this is this hurts this, i haven't i'm about to quit i'm about to commit a quit like this is this is stupid this is dumb i mean i'm maybe it's just me but it's not just me, okay? I I know others struggle. Like by the time I cover this, there's this guy. Okay, I think we've got the first checkpoint of three. Okay, second checkpoint reached. Insanity levels lowering significantly, but it's still pretty darn high. Get out of my face, you baluga! I need I need to get to the other side, or a CD. Oh my gosh! Please drop us. <gasps> I, it, it's done. I'm free. No more of this, ever. Can you imagine if it was the other one? You guys know what I'm talking about. I still haven't actually ran into it in these videos and I really hope I don't ever have to, but like, I don't I don't even care if it's the spawner balls because we can just like one shot them despite us not having a killer whale. But you know, it's, it's better than zones. Friendship with zones is over. It was never my favorite mode. It's always been my least favorite mode. One, two, three, dead. One, two, dead. Man, the difference, the difference this made. Look at this, compare this to zones. 23 seconds versus like probably 23 minutes. It was not 23 minutes, but it felt like it. All right, if we're not getting anything neat, are we? Oh, main damage distant. We're gonna go to the next vending machine and hopefully we'll get something nice unless there's like a double drop of a... If there isn't, we're gonna go to the next vending machine. It's just a free reset. That's how I'm treating it. It's a free reset. Poison ink. All right, we will max out the poison ink. That means we only have three slots left and we're on floor 25. So we are good here. Um, I will do one reset and hopefully we will get killer whale. <gasps> it happened. It finally, killer whale. This is what I've been asking for. Now we're about to like destroy. This this tower is getting blown. It's this is just gonna explode. Cause we have the, the, the killer whale buff. Main firing speed times two, but I kinda want splash damage. <laughs> I kind of I kind of want that splash damage, but the odds of us getting it or we have a one in four chance of getting the one we want I'm gonna regret this so much. I'm gonna regret this so much splash damage. I'll take it. I'll take it I've com I've committed to the splash damage <laughs> I don't know I just I don't care about the roller swinging faster because like we already I don't even think we can hit anything from the distance Oh, this is gonna send these balls flying isn't it? Because I think the damage we do also like affects how far they go or maybe not. Uh, who needs girl power when you have flying sprinkle guys? Like the true menace to society, man. This is truly not an orderly location because of the flying sprinkle guys. They bring the most chaos I've ever seen in my life. All right, sound wave damage. Oh, we'll take this. This means the the one time I use my killer whale is just gonna like one shot everything. Wait, was this a zones? Uh oh. Uh oh. I want to back out of this. Can I? Can I leave? Do I have to do this one? This is the one I was talking about, the horrible one. I don't like it here. This is like, I don't know if you guys have ever read Dante's Inferno. This is what the bottom floor looks like. This is it. This is, <laughs> you reach the bottom of Inferno. This is it. This is what waits for you there. It's this stage. <laughs> Cause like you can't even make it in time. They have covered it. By the time you make your way back, kill them. Kill them, my killer whale. Obliterate their existence. Look, there's more. Why? 
Why are there more of you? If you guys have any actual tips for this, please let me know because this is by far the worst stage in this video game. Maybe it's not that bad if you play it with like a charger or you have the speed, but I don't, I just, there is no joy. There is no joy here. It's just only suffering, constant suffering. Two minutes. Ah. All right, we only get one more. What do I even want? I sp splash damage would be nice. Can we get some splash damage? Can we get some splash damage? Let's go. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough to max it out. And it's another zones. Eternally shelterless nightmare game of me. Why, why does it have to be zones? After doing this recording, anytime I see zones in rotation, I'm just gonna turn the game off. If I play Salmon Run and I see Flipper Floppers, I just turn the game off. <laughs> have I not done my time enough? Have I not done all of the bad zone stages? I literally have. It has given me all of the... <laughs> no, there's, there's one more zone stage that it has not given me, thank goodness, but like... Oh look, I thought I was safe. I thought there's nothing to disturb the zones. But of course there's fly guys and splashdown guys and, and they just made inner agent 3 like a normal mob inner agent 4 <laughs> if they ever made an inner agent 4 it would be a splat zones battle and they just have a sprinkler that doesn't die once they get splatted and they can just lay infinite sprinklers and their sub it's not a splashdown it's just the, the sprinkler bomb rush so you just are getting consistently barraged by sprinklers and i'm consistently out of ink I don't like I don't like it here. I like doing a lot of damage. So like maybe if you have this, if you're doing this monochrome run, just do yourself a favor and just don't do any zone stages. Because as you can see, maybe maybe this is just a skill issue. Maybe I just really suck at zones, which I you know I'm not gonna discount that option. But I don't think I'm that bad at zone. I don't think I'm that bad. I'm not I'm not saying I'm good, just saying I don't think I'm that bad. Is this this what you guys voted for? Team Chaos? Is this what you wanted? Is this, is this what you guys wanted? Because that was team order. I don't want any of this. <laughs> Finally, the CD. The Pearl Disc. It has saved me. Truly the best drop is the Pearl Disc. That stops the enemies from spawning. <laughs> Good news is we have also completed our palette. So now we're going to get pearls as rewards. Um, and again, I don't know if you guys watched the main video, but uh, one color chip is the same as getting five pearls so you might as well go for something that gives you five pearls otherwise you're not getting your stages worth of pearls and i'm gonna go for this unreasonable mountain i know what this one is this is the one where you climb it and there's like five and we're just gonna have a nice easy time because we have and no splat zones zero splat zones we just need to hit them like twice and they're gonna explode and then we're gonna very quickly clear this see if the killer whale will do anything not as much as I thought. I mean, for, for all the buffs we got for it, it sure is not doing that much. Nice and easy. Well, easier. All right, and with that, uh, we will be fighting uh, the final boss. Uh, if you, for some reason, have never made it to floor 30 and you do not want to see what the final boss looks like, Tony Kenza, and now is your chance to leave. But if you do, I ask you to leave a like and maybe subscribe, but maybe don't. Don't. I don't care what you do. Anyways, it's time for the final boss. Wahoo. Let's see how difficult this final boss will be compared to the Splat Zone stages where I suffered. Spoiler alert, it's not gonna be hard at all. Cause like, what, what is he gonna do? Alright, I'll use Burst Bomb again. If you're watching this, Brian, I've used it twice. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna pop whale, slap, okay. Maybe not as quick as the ink brush, but... Also, funny enough, this is the only one that like requires you to really change your special for it to do anything. Cause like for the ink brush, it works really well with uh, the hammer. But this one just, it doesn't work with Kraken. Like Kraken gets no benefit at all from the boost. All right, let's see what we do without Killer Whale. Four shot, five shot. All right, this guy takes a lot of damage. He might be a smallest, but he a big guy at heart. I will say though, compared to the brush one, I don't know. This, the, the slapping is not as fun as just rolling into things. Does this cancel his attack? No, it does not cancel his attack. Okay. I can I can do that too though. And done. And th th there you have it. We have cleared side order with a monochrome run of the roller. Took a lot longer than with the brush, I'll tell you that. So again, if you're going for speed, I'd probably say go charger or brush. Those are the two that I've had like the fastest time with. Anyway, as you can see, we got plenty of points here with the tone chain. Um a lot of pearls but it maxes out at all nines so i don't i don't i don't know what to use the pearls for there's like the daily drop thing and that's it 
Uh, but yeah, that about covers this run. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, uh, let me know if you want to see more of these and which weapon slash color chip combo you'd like to see. Maybe I can try one that's not on the main palette. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll squid you in the next one. Bye.